In this video, we are going to show you how to replace all five filters on your under-the-counter RO system. To change the pre-filters, turn off the feed water line to the system by turning the needle valve clockwise till it stops. Turn off the tank ball valve by turning the blue handle 90 degrees. Lift up the RO faucet lever to release the buildup pressure inside the RO system. With the RO system standing upright, slip the wrench onto the first stage filter housing. Open the housing by turning clockwise. If necessary, you can lay the RO down on the floor to get better leverage. Remove the filter from the housing and discard as necessary. If you prefer, you may rinse the housing with mild soap and rinse appropriately. Put the new filter into the housing. The sediment filter goes into stage 1 and carbon block filters in stage 2 and 3. Before closing the housing, make sure each housing has a black O-ring. Hand tighten the housing by turning counterclockwise. Use the wrench to tighten the housing to ensure a secure installation. If you are intending to replace the 4 stage membrane and 5th stage post carbon filter, please continue watching the video. Otherwise, please turn on the feed water line and open the tank ball valve. Flushing the system is not needed at this time. If you have not already done so, turn off the feed water line to the system by turning the needle valve clockwise till it stops. Turn off the tank ball valve by turning the blue handle 90 degrees. Lift up the RO faucet lever to release the buildup pressure inside the RO system. Disconnect the red tubing from the membrane housing cap which uses a quick connect fitting. To remove the tubing, push in and hold down on the collet ring surrounding the tubing. With the collet ring held down in position, use your other hand to remove the tubing from the fitting. Remove the membrane housing cap by turning counterclockwise. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, remove and discard the existing membrane appropriately. Locate the new membrane in the plastic bag. To avoid touching the membrane filter, use the pair of needle nose pliers to handle the membrane. The double o-ring side will be inserted into the membrane housing first. Insert the membrane all the way into the housing. Now close the cap, hand tightening it by turning clockwise. Reconnect the red tubing to the membrane cap by pushing it into the fitting. Then gently pull back on the tubing to ensure a secure connection. If you are intending to replace the fifth stage post carbon filter, please continue watching the video. Otherwise, please turn on the feed water line and open the tank ball valve. Discard two full tanks of water before use. Drain the tank by lifting the faucet lever up into the lock position. On average, it takes 10 to 15 minutes to completely drain the tank and 2 to 4 hours to refill. If you have not already done so, turn off the feed water line to the system by turning the needle valve clockwise till it stops. Turn off the tank ball valve by turning the blue handle 90 degrees. Lift up the RO faucet lever to release the buildup pressure inside the RO system. Disconnect the output tubing to the faucet and remove the T-fitting from the left hand port. The fitting on both ends of the filter is a quick connect type. To remove the tubing, push in and hold down on the collet ring surrounding the tubing. With the collet ring held down in position, use your other hand to remove the tubing from the fitting. Remove the existing filter by unclipping it from the membrane housing. Now, with the new filter, remove both protective end plugs from the QC fittings. On the fifth stage filter, you will notice a flow arrow on the label. Reattach it to the membrane housing with the flow arrow pointing to the side that is the outlet end. Attach the faucet tubing to the outlet end of the stage 5 filter by pushing the tubing into the quick connect fitting Gently pull on the tubing to ensure a secure connection. Now connect the T-fitting to the opposite side and test the connection. Turn on the feed water line and open the tank ball valve. If you have replaced the membrane filter at this time, please discard two full tanks of water before use. Drain the tank by lifting the faucet lever up into the lock position. 
On average, it takes 10 to 15 minutes to completely drain the tank and 2 to 4 hours to refill. If you are only replacing the 5th stage filter, simply run water for the first minute to flush out the new filter. Feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns in regards to replacing the filters.